After making the 4,000 kilometer trip from its breeding grounds on the tundra, the tundra swan spends the winter in Japan. The area around Yonago is the most southerly mass wintering spot. Although several theories have been put forward and investigated to explain exactly how they make the 4,000 kilometer journey without error, we still have no definite answer to this question. Tracking of tagged birds has revealed that there are two main routes taken to Yonago. One route takes them from Sakhalin past Lake Kucharo and down south along the coast, and the other straight across the ocean from Vladivostok to Yonago. While a route that follows topographic features would be visually recognizable, the 900 kilometers from Vladivostok offers no landmarks whatsoever. The Tundra Swan can reach in-flight speeds of 70 kilometers per hour, but even at this speed, it needs to maintain its course south or north for 13 hours. How does the tundra swan know north from south, or south from north? A widely accepted hypothesis is that they have an internal magnetic compass. Even though this is a controversial hypothesis, recent studies of this mechanism on a molecular level have given new credibility to this theory. According to this research, there are cells between the bird's eyes that act like a magnetic compass, activating when exposed to blue light to determine the direction. This hypothesis has a certain allure to it. However, there still isn't sufficient evidence to explain exactly what this blue light activating the internal magnetic compass is. The avian eye contains a special structure called a pectin oculi. This comb-like structure allows birds to see with high resolution regardless of the diffuse reflection in the atmosphere. It is common knowledge that this pectin oculi is actively utilized by birds of prey to hunt for food from the skies above. It is conceivable that migrating birds may also know the position of stars during the day and be using them to navigate. However, this hypothesis doesn't account for cloudy days and cannot satisfactorily explain how birds know south from north and vice versa. The mystery of migration has puzzled humans since ancient times, and it remains to a great extent unexplained even with present-day scientific study. Despite our lack of understanding, the tundra swan employs some kind of sensor to cross the great ocean expanse and find its way home. Humans do not have such refined sensors with which to measure the natural world. However, humankind possesses the power of analysis, one that goes beyond our natural limitations. The protection of this diverse and beautiful Earth through the analysis of nature is a mission that has been entrusted to humankind.